Okay, on to question 18. Which type of reaction occurs when solid ammonium sulfate is heated with excess sodium hydroxide solution? So this would be from the nitrogen and sulfur topic. Uh, just to give a bit of background, ammonium sulfate, just like all ammonium salts, is very important in, in industry because it's used as an agricultural fertilizer. And as we all know, um, it's very difficult to sustain such huge human populations without significant fertilizer use, unfortunately. Okay, so ammonium sulfate is an example of ammonium salt, could be a fertilizer. Now, in terms of this reaction of an ammonium salt with sodium hydroxide, you may see this reaction in other questions because it's one of those reactions which will produce ammonia gas. OK, so I'll just write out the equation now and that will help us understand the question better. OK, so here's the balance equation. Uh, I'll just add in there that. This ammonia being produced here is a gas. Now, like I said, this could be important because this is how you'd produce ammonia in the lab. And if you were testing for ammonia, you'd want to um, use litmus paper here. And this would turn red litmus blue. OK, so test for ammonia gas, red litmus. Sorry about writing this out with a mouse. It's a bit slow, but we'll turn a red or damp red litmus paper to blue okay and that could be important in a future question okay in terms of what type of reaction this is okay the answer is going to be a and your big clue here is that you're producing water so water is one of the products here so what does that really mean well it means you've combined hydrogen and hydroxide ions in what would be a form of a neutralization reaction okay so in this case you've got an alkali here okay or a base and this ammonium salt here is behaving as an acid. And that is why you're getting water as one of your products. So the answer here would be A, this type of reaction is an acid-base reaction. Hope that's helped.